क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग वन क्वेश्चन ऑफ मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग वेर वी हैव इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑफ टू डिफरेंट इयर्स इन दैट केस हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यूज दैट विल बी डिस्कसिंग लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन from the following particulars you are required to calculate profit volume ratio pv ratio break even point profit when sale is rupees 2 lakhs sales required to earn profit 40000 and margin of safety in the second year here we have information in table year 1 and year 2 Year one sales is two lakh forty thousand and profit is eighteen thousand. Year two sales is two lakh eighty thousand, profit is twenty six thousand. So we have information of sales and we have information of profit. This is a sum based on marginal costing where we need information of variable cost. But the variable cost or fixed cost is not mentioned over here. They have given the sales of the two different year. and profit of the two different years you may assume that the cost structure and selling prices remain constant in two years now with this information we are required to find out the pv ratio and the other details let us start now first information we will try to find out the pv ratio here pv ratio we can find out with the help of a formula so change in profit divided by change in sales multiplied by 100 this is the formula to calculate the amount of profit volume ratio we can see in the question now profit for the first year is 18000 profit for the second year is 26000 so we have to find the difference between the two profits profit difference 26000 minus 18000 the difference in sales 280000 and 240000 we have to find out 280000 minus 240000 multiplied by 100 Now we'll solve this equation. Twenty-six thousand minus eighteen thousand. Difference amount is here eight thousand. Change in profit. Sales two lakh eighty thousand minus two lakh forty thousand. So change in amount of sales is forty thousand multiplied by hundred. After solving this, we'll get the amount of PV ratio. it will be so answer is 20% so pv ratio we got here amount is 20% the next information we require is to find out break even point we will require fixed cost the fixed cost amount we have to find out first before getting into the calculation of break even point to find fixed cost we are going to prepare a working note to get amount of fixed cost we are required to find out contribution for a particular period to get contribution formula is sales multiplied by profit volume ratio by, by multiplication we will get the amount of contribution now during first year we have sale amount during first year we have sale amount 2 lakh 40000 so we'll be taking that amount 2 lakh 40000 we are multiplying pvr pvr is 20% so thereby we can get contribution 2 lakh 40000 multiplied by 20% it comes to rupees 48000 so we got amount of contribution we need to know amount of fixed cost so formula will be formula is fixed cost is equal to contribution minus profit so here we have contribution 48000 during first year the amount of profit we have 18000 so 48 minus 18000 we get fixed cost rupees 30000 so this is how based on profit volume ratio we have calculated the amount of fixed cost this can be verified for the second year 2 lakh 80000 multiplied by 20% amount comes 56000 this is the amount of contribution for the second year 
we need to know fixed cost amount. So contribution minus profit, 56,000 minus profit of the second year. Second year profit is rupees 26,000. 56,000 minus 26,000 total amount is 30,000. So in both the years we got fixed cost same that is rupees 30,000. So we got the amount of fixed cost 30,000. By using this amount now we can find out the amount of break even point. To get break even point our formula is fixed cost divided by profit volume ratio. Here fixed cost is 30,000 we got divided by 20% we can get the amount of break even point here. Break even point is 150,000. It is a point of sale where business don't make any profit or loss. So this amount we got 150,000 in this case. That is the second thing we have found which is given in the question. Let us see what are the other things are given. Third part says profit when sales is rupees 2 lakhs. So they are asked us to find out how much profit business will make if the sale is 2 lakhs. In this case we will try to first find out contribution at sales level of rupees 2 lakhs. To get contribution, our formula is sales multiplied by PVR, profit volume ratio. Sales given in the question is 2 lakhs multiplied by PVR 20%. So amount of contribution we got 40,000. We are required to find out here profit when sales is rupees 2 lakhs. So we got contribution based on that we can find out the profit. Profit will be equal to contribution minus fixed cost. Contribution we have calculated 40,000 here. 30,000 is our fixed cost. 40,000 minus 30,000. So in this case profit will be 10,000. This is how we have calculated profit when sales is rupees 2 lakhs. Next part of the question says sales required to earn profit rupees 40,000. This question asks us that businessman want to make profit of rupees 40,000 then how much sales he should make in this case. Required sales to make profit rupees 40,000. Here we are required to apply a formula fixed cost plus plus required profit or desired profit divided by whole PVR that is profit volume ratio fixed cost we got in the question 30,000 plus required profit they have said 40,000 here divided by PVR that is 20 percent we already calculated we can find out now the amount of sales required. So amount of sales required to make profit 40,000 will be 3,50,000. This is what we have found out. The last part of the question says margin of safety in the second year. To calculate margin of safety we are required to apply the formula actual sale minus break even point sale. During second year the amount of actual sale is 2,80,000. In sub question 2 we have calculated break even point sale 150000 this 150000 will be deducted so we got margin of safety 130000 so in this question when actual variable cost is not given fixed cost is not given only the information of two years sales and profit is given and we have calculated the various things asked in the question Thanks for watching this video. Stay in tune with Ikeda and subscribe to our channel. Ikeda, thank you.